my name is David Alvarez. I'm here on behalf of the Wally Builders Club. I have a full 1-1 scale Wally. He's fully animatronic. He can sing, dance, drive, and I'm just here sharing him with the crowd. Hi, I'm Elijah Horland. I'm the executive producer of Maker Fair Coney Island down in New York City. And I'm also uh, one of the stars of Mythbusters Jr. And I've just brought a, brought a few personal projects with me today. Uh, this is an acoustic levitator. It can levitate small objects just using high frequency sound waves. So all these are floating just using sound. Uh, this is a video game console that I turned into a video game controller to create the most inconvenient way of playing video games. And this is a fully functioning mechanical keyboard built into a pumpkin. And uh, this is a mouse, but instead of right or left click, you press on the right or left side of an egg. So see, whatever I press here appears on the uh, screen over here. Hi, I'm Interlink9. I'm showing my projects that I've been doing over the years, and I show in my YouTube channel. This is the automatic blinds that when it's night, it closes by itself. Uh, YouTube subscriber counter with a paper display, a photo frame, a, a tachometer, a engine model uh, from a car, and this one is an engine model for a jet engine. This one is a new project to control the computer using a smart plug. So if you say, hey Google, turn PC off, it will turn off the computer. This is a scale for 3D printers, a bunch of stuff for my sponsor PCB Way. Uh, my toolbox, the way I organize my electronics, and my solar installation that I built. Uh, so you can check it out on my YouTube channel, and see you next time. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Jen Schachter. I'm here at Miami Maker Fair at the Watsco Center, and uh, I brought Marie Antoinette uh, this EVA foam wig. Uh, I built this all from really thin EVA foam sheet material. Uh, I found a dress to go with it, and I made a big cake for her to eat. Uh, it's made of upholstery foam, so it's nice and squishy. Um, and then I actually it was featured on the cover of Make Magazine, which was a surprise and really cool. This was my first like cosplay project. I make all sorts of props and set pieces, and I organize different events, and I'm just really excited to be here. Hi, uh, my name's Allison. I'm a cosplay artist. I usually make really big cosplays. And, uh, today I brought Appa and Catbus, two of my fluffier creations that everybody seems to really like. Uh, but I've also done a lot of like mech suit work, um, the Guardian, I've done Card Titan. Pretty much everything I do is a puppet because I think that's cool and if you ever need something that doesn't need to move in a human way, you can use puppetry to, to get that extra kind of little non-human movement effort and I really like that. And I love cosplay so I, I brought all that here. How's it going? My name is Rodney. I'm an electronics hobbyist, and what we have here are uh, interactive LED panels that respond to motion. Uh, we have Bluetooth capable fabric that has LEDs embroidered. We have a bunch of textile based sensors for pressure, capacitive touch, um, pre sewn LED strips for cosplay, and we have a large array of sewn in LEDs that are running a test pattern uh, here with an Arduino. We also have an array of LED controllers that take in the sensor data and can send it out through Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and another of other RF uh, technologies.
Hello, my name is Mario, the maker, and as you can see here we have a whole bunch of retro computers and retro games. Uh, these have been restored. Some, this one has been restored. It's possibly been restored. This one is actually my old computer, and this one has been restored also. These are computers from 1980. This is a computer from 1978. Uh, and then here you saw I built a BMO that actually is like the BMO from the cartoons where you can play video games and talk to you. And then here is a, a game I made where you have to solve a puzzle before a bomb goes off. So you hit the reset button and do that. I'm also the person that produces the whole Maker Fair event. This is my uh, eighth year running the Maker for, Mi Maker for Miami. Uh, this is our 11th year, so I've been running for eight of the last 11. Uh, and that's a hope that uh, if you guys see this video, you come to any Maker Fair that you're at, because Maker Fairs are amazing. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Drew, I'm from Imperial Tech Shop, and we also run VCD. This is Cindy, my wife. We do a lot of different stuff from LED work and electronics to uh, actual prop making and 3D printing. Don't forget to look us up and see what other amazing items that we may be making. So we are RoboHUD, so we have a software where you upload any photo and it translates it into digital brushstrokes and creates a painting from it. So we are here live painting Mac Miller and all of these paintings here were all painted using the robot. Hi, um, my name is Francis. I am the owner of Francis Crochet. This is a small crochet business in Miami. Um, we make all sorts of different things such as clothing, accessories, homeware, and other little toys, so yeah. Hi, uh, my name is Hanari Solomon. Uh, I'm a professional costume designer, and replica prop fabricator. Uh, I've been doing this for about 16 years. I help teach cosplay classes. I go around and I do guesting. And what I do primarily at maker spaces and places like this is I help teach introductory level courses to people who have never gotten into cosplay before to show them that you can make very impressive things with stuff that you can find around your house for a very, very affordable price. I made these in like 10 minutes out of EVA foam and cellophane and masking tape. Uh, I made this ax yesterday in a workshop. It took about an hour. The overall cost was probably like $15 for materials, um, but it is very sturdy and cleanly done. And you can make stuff like this in cosplay very, very easily. And I hope that more people will see how easy it is to get into doing costuming and fabric that they want to do stuff like this and they know that they can do it without it costing an arm and a leg. Hi, my name is Bella Blue and um, I'm a 10 year old. I started my business when I was seven and I do accessories for kids, adults and dogs. Up against the wall, that's some great aggression and control. Close shot, dangerously close shot. Oh! 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 And a right by Stella, oh! right there is out. Hello, my name is Ulysses, and I am a member of the 501st Legion uh, Everglades Squadron. Uh, the 501st Legion is a Star Wars costuming club. We are uh, Lucasfilm recognized, and we consider ourselves the bad guys doing good. We specialize in the Imperial uh, dark side costuming. Um, all of our members are volunteers. Our members build their costumes on their own. We come out to events for the community and for charity, and we just want to make things uh, a better world, you know, with, through our love of Star Wars and through our love of costuming and building. My name is Julie and I make pop-up cards and this is a birthday card and we have hundreds of cards. We have celebrities, we have Frida Kahlo, we have Celia Cruz, flowers, piano, marlins, sports. Thank you. Hi, we're here 
with the Miami Mineralogical and Lapidary Guild. We're a 501c3 that's been around for 70 years. We're part of the community and we do a lot of outreach. If you're a member of our club, you can learn to cab and shape the rocks into these lovely cabochons is what it's called when you shape the rocks. Once you have shaped your rocks, we also have groups that do beading and wire wrapping and help you make the jewelry out of those stones. Basically all fans of rocks, gems, minerals, fossils. We'd love for you to come join us and make and create things and learn about the fascinating world of rocks and minerals and gems. I brought fluorescing rocks too. <laughs> Hi, we're from Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden and this is the Growing Beyond Earth project. It's a project in partnership with NASA where we're helping to test and identify edible plants to feed astronauts for long distance space travel. So in the Growing Beyond Earth chamber we have plants growing that we're testing. We have um, 450 high schools and middle schools across the world who are doing all of the uh, trials and sharing all that data with NASA so they can determine what they're going to grow next in space. Hi, we're Roll With Adventure Dice. Um, we have handmade dice and dice accessories. Um, everything is poured and painted and polished by hand. We have a variety of sets. Um, we have keychains, dice bags, stickers, um, anything you could want for all of your dice and uh, role-playing game needs. Uh, we're Wham Bam Systems. We sell 3D printing uh, accessories, as well as some stuff for general craft. Uh, some of our products that we have on display are the Cloud, which is a fire extinguisher for CNC laser 3D printers. We have some, one of our many slat mats, which is actually a silicone mat great for 3D printing, for um, different glues, epoxy. It's good for a soldering iron. Uh, and our the product that launched our whole company, which is a flexible build system for an FDM printer that allows you to uh, have a great adhesion and then in a one quick uh, flex, you're able to get that off without any issues.